I think it's calling to me. Now, say it with me. Howdy, hey, more Breaking Bad today. Am I immediately watching the third episode after watching the second episode? Yes. Did I take my jumper off to make it look like it's a different recording? No, yes. No, I didn't. I'm not addicted. You are. You're the problem, not me. Breaking Bad season four, episode three. Today, we have an episode called Open House. I'm going to keep it short sharp and pointy the way you like it and get straight into the episode but before we do leave a big like little like depending on your house size um i don't know you don't have to own that own the house if you're in a house just leave a like if anyone's watching in a box on the street let me know subscribe if you haven't already because one gives you something to watch and two helps the channel grow uh Appreciate that. Patreon, if you want to support the channel, see uncensored early access stuff like that. But let's watch Breaking Bad Season 4, Episode 3, Open House. Dude, using Gail's coffee machine to make coffee after he's died is criminal. That smile meant I get to enjoy this cup of joe all to myself. Gail doesn't get it anymore. Look at that black eye, man. Damn. That eye might be blacker than some of the coffees I've drank. Is it Jesse's Roomba? He installed a freaking security camera. Son of a bitch. It's okay, I'll say it for you because I did not think they would put a security camera in there. <laughs> Duh! It's actually following him around. Gus couldn't be watching that, he's too busy. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Give him two of them! Do two of them! Even turn around and, like, pull your pants down or something, moon it! I'm not leaving! Oh, that was Skylar's fingers? Dude, Skylar's fingers and toes are things I don't need to see up close. Ah, I can hear your cell phone ringing! He's not home. Ah. Oh, uh, never mind, he is home. I've left you like 23 messages. And? And? <laughs> and? And is crazy. We need to talk about the car wash. Scarlet, I've told you I'm not giving you $20 million for a car wash. Are you doing? <gasps> oh, Jesus. Yeah, just uh, expected in the line of work that I'm in. Walter, you're kind of an idiot. You could have worn a, like, cute little pirate patch or something. Exactly what happened. It's complicated. Or I got beaten in the eye, you see, Skylar. I need you to look me in the eye and tell me right now, R. R. I have a hell of a lot more on my mind right now than thinking about buying a damn car wash, okay? I was waiting for Skylar to be like, well... I've already bought it. And then Walter would be like, Let's go! I'm dealing with enough! Then we go to the police. What? We, t we, we tell them everything. That you're a drug dealer, afraid for your safety what? and, and whoa, the safety whoa, of your family, whoa, whoa, and you whoa, need what? you need Are help. You, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is just... So passive aggressive, you know, passive -aggressive. I- Passive yeah, aggressive? Guys, they're about to have another divorce. They're about to double up. I had an argument with a co-worker. And? Well, I can tell you this, it wasn't Jesse Pink Iman. We were discussing a particular business strategy and, and it got heated and... I said his name and he didn't like that because he hadn't said what it was. He hit me once and I didn't retaliate because he's a much older man. And that's it. And he only hit me once because I dodged the second punch. Frozen peas. For the eye. Best thing for the eye. Swollen. It's not really swollen, it's just... No peas. <laughs> He doesn't even own peas. Peas and ice. I'm writing it down. Walter, I need you to open your fridge and show me what's in there. Is it just like one bottle of water? So, car wash. $20 million, please. Hi there. Can I answer any questions? What do you think? Oh, very nice. Very open. So this is our open house. But why is that important? Uh, Michael Kilborn. Holy shit, I thought he was going to say Michael Keaton. I was going to be like, dude, wow. I, I see you're married. No, divorced. 
very recent. Don't speak it into existence. You can do that. Eli's going to be homeschooled. Oh, well, great. Not for religious reasons or anything. I just want to make sure that he's getting enough attention. I'm so intrigued. What is Marie up to here? This could work. What do you mean? We can't be using the money Skylar's giving us to buy a different house. Hey! Yeah. Is that what she's doing? Siphoning the money Skylar's giving her and using it to buy a different house? I got your Shiner back and your chips and... Minerals? Are there going to be minerals in there? The complete <gasps> encyclopedia. If I was Marie, I'd pull a joke here. I'd pull out a bottle of mineral water. I must have said Cheetos like 10 times. You need me to write it down for you? Ch, -ch, -ch sound. Virtually impossible to confuse Cheetos with Fritos, seems to me. Close. Actually, yet yeah, true. Very different sounds. And the draft's not for two months, so this is useless. <laughs> I mean, it's reading material, so I wouldn't call it useless. You can't do much else. Oh, you always thought this place could be bugged. Oh, I know. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it either. That means we're constantly being watched. You want to do something? Go karts. Go karts. Oh my god, please. I need to see Jesse and Walter have like a montage just go karting. No. Yes! Please! Have a little bit of fun! Right, whatever. Jesse wants to just do something outside of work and being anxious constantly. Please go go karting. How are you doing? I'd be doing better if you wanted to go go-karting with me. Good. Yeah? No, he's not doing well at all. He just wants the company. For what it's worth, getting the shit kicked out of you, you do kind of get used to it. Oh. Jesse, you're not a punching bag, man. You're actually worth something. It's perfect for money laundering. It's a high volume, cash preferred business. And nobody does Mr. Mino nothing better than Mrs. Mukjayapurn and her gals. Mr. Goodman. So, 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 come on, man. For the lady of the house, drum roll, please. How about a lifetime supply of French manicures and enzyme peels? Oh, yeah, go ahead, pinch yourself. We're not buying a nail salon, Mr. Goodman. We're getting the car wash. Apparently he upped it to 20. Nice negotiating. Hey, you bombed. It's literally the opposite of bartering, but they tried. You just sit back, relax, and let a professional take over. He's gonna get them the car wash for sure. What do you want? I'm in a meeting. Why did you think of that before? Why am I leaning in to see if I can hear what that other guy's saying? Can Huel use your bathroom? Oh. Huel? I thought it would be important, but I mean, bathroom breaks are important. It's a stomach thing. He's got the IBS stomach ache, you can tell. Um, so if the guy won't sell, he won't sell. I don't accept that. <laughs> Skull's kind of a boss, I'm not gonna lie. I think he just lacks the proper motivation. Maybe just so we're on the same page here, you're saying we make him an offer he can't refuse? Walter has a gun, you could threaten him. Attitude adjustment. <sighs> Oh, oh, oh. It's scary how quickly Skylar's just like fallen into line with everything. How about an ICE raid? You know he's got illegals working over there. I mean, he just has to. We are not getting a bunch of poor, innocent people in trouble. No. I love that Saul's just like, yeah, we can do that. Just get him arrested, man. Hey, how about terrorism? Oh, Agent Hoover, I got to tell you, I've seen some real Islamic comings and goings over there at the car wash. Yeah, I mean, guys in turbans pulling <laughs> Saul, up. Saul, you head. are doubling down, my friend. Saul, Bogdan is Romanian. Damn it. We're just spitballing here, so. Well, we can adjust. We can adjust that. <sighs> Look, there's always a shame if something happened to it. Violence? Attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Attitude, he just used Scarlet's own words against her. We do not do that. That's not who we are, right? Yeah, no, no. Just no. like shoves the gun back into his pants. No, 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 no. I don't like him. Mm. Bogdan, he was condescending to me, rude about you, and I do not like him. <laughs> Simple as that. So let's get rid of him. Hey, Damn. Nobody appreciates a passionate woman more than I do. I wouldn't be surprised if Saul gets down on his knees and proposes to Skylar. He's fallen in love with her. What do you mean, rude about me? You weren't man enough to face him yourself. What? That you had to send your woman to do your business for you. Speaking as your lawyer, I'm gonna go on record and say this is a bad idea. Now, it's I advise one. against- It's this one. 
He folded so fast. Bogdan's gonna call me not a man. Has he seen his eyebrows? His eyebrows are thicker than the rings of Saturn. All we have to do is think of an unsuspicious way to purchase the car wash. Don't everybody speak at once. Okay. <laughs> oh, the toilet flushing. That was great. Can I answer any questions? Oh, spoons. So... No basement. No basement, sorry. Well, if you're looking for storage space, there's an attic area that's sizable. What are you doing? Actually, I have a handout for you. It has all the information. I'm Stephanie Doswell, by the way. Charlotte Blattner. So nice to meet you, Charlotte. You too. What are you doing? Any children? No, I don't really want kids. <gasps> Did they go go cutting? Oh, no, it's just Jesse by himself. Oh, my God. Dude, if you need a plus one, send me an email. Uh, email? <laughs> send me a message and I'll join you in go-kart. Oh, that would be so fun. I'm actually upset at Walter for just not going go-karting with Jesse. Just one thing he asked for. Do it. Oh, his house has been turned into like a drug den. Pretty much the same place he ended up with where Walter had to help him out of. That's insane. Look what you've done to this house as well. Like, wow. He just needs someone. Like, literally anyone to just be friends with. He's not getting anything from anyone else. I really love your home. Oh, well, thank you, Mimi. Very European feel. Mimi? She's changing her name at every house she goes to. Well, I lived in London for years, so... I, I was stationed at Upwood in the 60s. Right downtown. Well, I haven't thought that far ahead. My husband is an illustrator, so we traveled a lot. Paris, Italy, Denmark. It was you stole a spoon from that house you came to! My youngest, Lucy, was diagnosed with endocarditis. Oh my god, it's the same agent and she's just heard that now she has a child. Is she alright? Your daughter, is she okay? Yes, D thank you. I thought you didn't want to have a child. Thank goodness. Yeah, we're very lucky. She's standing in the background like a freaking boogeyman. Run, me. run, very run! Good. Thank you. I just called the police. Okay then, I know you stole that spoon. You're a thief. Excuse me? Still a thief, like three seasons later. Back off, okay? My husband is a DEA agent. Oh, I thought he was an astronaut or an illustrator. <laughs> you better get your crazy lies straight. You know what, fatty? You are so lucky. Hey, Jesus Christ! Let go! Get oh my here. God, you let go of it! I'm actually disliking Marie more than I disliked Skylar. Let it yep, go! yep, yep, yep! <laughs> it's all the stuff you've stolen. <laughs> you are in big trouble. Are you sure about that? I think you're in big trouble. Oh my god. Yeah. Your wife has been arrested. You're where? Your house ain't gonna get to the police station, man. Are you seriously doing this to me again? <laughs> Would you stop crying? I'd laugh at her. I'd be like, you deserve it. I'm literally in therapy, struggling to get out of bed and walk, and you're stealing shit and getting caught. Like, you deserve it. The officer spoke to the homeowners, and they're not going to press charges. Good. I won't either. Okay, then. So, you ready? You're a nutcase. Like, you, you are actually insane. Marie, you want to go home? Uh, check her pocket. She might have stole some files from the police department. Marie? I get that she would be going through a hard time. Oh my God, that is a really ugly crying face. Oh, but that's a, f if that's a real cry, yikes. She had that type of crying face where I'd have to say, hey, put the paper bag over your head while you do that. Thank you. Feel free to steal the paper bag while you're at it. A Saul Goodman booty call. Yes, it is important. Thank you. <laughs> Why is that such a menacing shot? It's just of the sink. Sorry. Same as before. Oh, you cannot do this. Mr. Wallace, I've checked your wastewater inside and out. I've checked your runoff gutters and now out here. More contaminants. 
No, your soap is not the issue. It's your filtration system. Literally forcing him to sell the car wash. You're going to need to replace your system entirely. Do you know what cost that is? $200,000. <laughs> That's actually a 10,000 IQ play. Tell me why you shut me down. What laws did I break? What laws? Several. <sighs> Oh, that's so evil, dude. Tell me exact the specific what laws laws. Hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, Wait, she's on okay. the... She's in the earpiece. Hazardous Waste Act of 1978, Section 74, Chapter 4, <laughs> Part 13. She's crazy. The offender may be fined not more than $5,000 each day in which the violation <laughs> occurs. All right. I didn't think this would happen. That's, that's genius. What's that? specific enough for you yeah sure how am i gonna maintain my bushy eyebrows i won't be able to afford the appointments i did not think she would have it in her but she totally does all done with lunch hmm. i made a joke in season three i think where i said marie and hank would get a divorce it's feeling pretty close i'm leaving the rice pudding i'm not hungry so i don't eat it yeah yeah i'm feeling that relationship just well i honestly thought she was siphoning money to buy a new house or something and then like try to hide it no she was just stealing from open houses hey marie how are you doing what do you what do you want i'm here for hank actually you're so sweet hank will be thrilled sweetie <laughs> he's eating the pudding he gave in what now she rob a bank Hey buddy, how you doing? Marie literally gave eye contact like, oh no, not yet, not yet, no, I haven't. You looking good? Yeah, well, handsome was never the hard part. <laughs> I wish I had Hank's charisma. He's so confident. So, rock collecting? They're not fucking rocks, they're minerals. What's up? Well, actually, I could use your help on something. Homicide, possibly drug related. You and my Gail. Oh, Gail! Gail! You ever come across a guy by the name of Gail Baddeker? <laughs> no. Nope. Someone came along and shot him in the face. Okay, let me eat some of my pudding! We found a notebook at his place. I made a copy for you in case you're interested. It's filled with scientific formulas and chemical purchase lists. There's pages and pages of this stuff. It hasn't got Walter's name in it, right? Does it have Walter's name in it? I wonder if you might take a look. Come on, Tim, seriously. It wouldn't. It can't have his name in it, otherwise they would have found out immediately. But I'm so stressed. Well, my advice, you take this to Steve Gomez. He'll help you out. Take a look. Tell me what I got here. There's going to be something in this that Hank recognizes or something like that. He's been too involved in the case to just be handed a book and then it have nothing to do with the plot. Take it easy. That's what I do. <laughs> Dude, you gotta stop making me laugh. I'm gonna get a tummy ache. Well, it was a good try. Oh, we didn't get the business? Oh, we put him out of business, but we didn't end up collecting it? I think we wait. Wait? There has been five hours. He'll call. <clears throat> Just wait. They probably will end up with the car wash. Why don't we simply chalk it up as a... Episode's gonna end with them getting... <laughs> it's gonna end with them getting a call and it's gonna be like, you've got it. Oh, hello, Mr. Wallenitz. Am I still interested? Well, I, I think that depends. 879 was the original offer, but that seems high to me now. Now I'm offering 800. No, no, no. What? Don't do that. Why? Don't do that. Well, because you're an unpleasant person. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, Skylar is growing on me, man. The market seems much softer than I thought, so. <laughs> Look at Walter. What the fuck are you doing? Stop. Goodbye. What are you doing? I'm negotiating. <laughs> Why? Because I want to pay less. Oh. <laughs> She's so blunt. She's so direct. I love it. I don't like him. I want to pay less. You just went too far with it. You're calling him names? I didn't call him names. No. I said he was unpleasant. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Sorry. No. So. <clears throat> Saw. Where's my phone? Which one, the first or the second phone? Or do we have a third phone now? No. What? You don't show your impatient. Oh my God. Now answer, like you've been busy. Hello, Mr. Wallenitz. They got it. They're gonna own a car wash. <laughs> Whoa. 
<laughs> they got the car wash. <laughs> They're celebrating. Two clean cars. Oh my clean God. Cars. How much did you pay? How much did you get it for? I told you we'd get it. Did you? Mm-hmm. I'm sensing the smallest amount of chemistry, which is hilarious considering Walter was a chemistry teacher. It's impressive. Thank you. Walter's gonna be like, remember how you fucked Ted? Would you do that to me? This is truly amazing. Yes, yeah, well, it better be. $320 a bottle. What? <laughs> Cuvée pour Wow. Cuvée. How did you pay for it? What do you mean? Cash? Cash. I paid cash. Okay, good, good, good. How do you explain it? No one saw me. Whoever sold it to you did. I didn't think about that. She's onto something here. On paper, we have no money. You are completely overreacting. She actually has a very valid point. I paid cash. That's it. That's all it takes. One little mistake, one slip up in our story, that could ruin us. Oh, okay, you may as well just tell me to drink air. I won't spend any money. Well, you bought the bottle, we may as well finish it. Gotta destroy the evidence. Oh my god, you guys are gonna be so drunk in about 30 minutes. The yep. The is there gonna be something important in there? I mean, it's all important, but I mean, is there gonna be something that like sticks out to him? Does his face change at all? Oh, that passes. oh is there gonna be- No! No! All right, so that was Breaking Bad Season 4, Episode 3, Open House. Uh, Marie's back to her stuff, stealing and things again. I don't know what the hell is going to be in those lab notes, but I am extremely worried. Hank is probably going to clue on to something in there that he's done his research on. A little stressful. I am starting to like Skylar. <laughs> I don't know, she's sassy and I can't dig it. Anyways, that's going to be me for today. Uh, I need to go and do something else before I actually end up watching episode four because I really can't do that. Leave me a big like, little like, depending on your spoon size. Uh, I would appreciate it a ton. I'm going to go touch my hat to play the theme song again, so... <gasps> Marie's been in my house! <laughs> <laughs>